Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing or trying out um, different browser-based drawing apps. Uh, they might be good, they might be bad, I do not know. Um, I was, I was going to do kids drawing apps too, but uh, we know that those are bad because they only have like uh, a few colors and probably like one brush. But let's get started. Okay, the first drawing app I already have a problem with it's really hard to click where you want it and I'm pretty sure this does not work with um, tablet so let's see like when you are dragging my colors around it's very very laggy and I have to double tap everything so let's pick a brush they don't even have they don't really have like a standard brush or, I guess this is a pencil. Um, so yeah, pencil. Kind of weird. Um, not really just like a regular round tip brush. And then they have their brushes. Let's see. Oh no, I was right. Okay, so this browser app doesn't support tablet. This is with my mouse. Um, it doesn't support tablets so I can I can't draw this one you don't you can use your, your um, control Z though you're on two button so I'm gonna try to draw something with my brush I guess it's okay if you're using it to like doodle something like quick and you're not really drawing drawing but as like a drawing app to make art with not too good especially since it doesn't support um, it doesn't support tablet oh no the, the patterns don't really work oh okay I see it now <laughs> okay I see I see there's no layers either unless you like drawing on one layer so you can't really paint with the pattern because you just get this smudgy but I guess yeah, you just get this like really weirdly 3D looking brush and if you want to, you just, yeah, you just have to do that. So not very good. Let's try the next one. Maybe it's, it's a little better than this one where we can actually draw with it. Okay, I can use my tablet with this. Okay, finally. Okay. This reminds me of a, um, of like, drawing programs on like iPad and Android. Because I use my iPad for, um, for drawing some of my other cute kind of, um, drawings. I put it on a screen, like my cuter drawings, because it's more convenient sometimes. Um, and I use a drawing app that's kind of like this, kind of. Would they have like all this fur? That does not look like fur, it looks like barbed wire. Well, if you do this, it looks like barbed wire. If you do like, yeah, okay. It's the, it's, it is kind of confusing though. What is this? Oh, this is like the paint effects. I just want a regular um I can be regular, yeah. Regular. I just want a regular paintbrush. I don't know if it's my hand or the brush, but it, it makes the brush look very um jagged, not smooth. I don't know if you can see it. So this one I might draw my drawing on since it's the only one so far that um, that <laughs> that I can use my my pen with my tablet with. All the brushes are really weird though. There's no one where it's just like a straight circle one. This one, but it's really weird. Oh, okay. 
There's no pressure sensitivity sensitivity though, so that's that's bad. Crayon. Yeah, there's no sensi pressure sensitivity. But it's okay, because at least we can use our tablet. Okay, we can move on to the next one. Kelki Paint Tool. Ooh, okay, this one is better already. There's less stuff going on, but it seems better already. It seems so much smoother. Opacity. There's opacity too. Okay, this will... This is much better. I like this better. This is... Does it have pressure sensitivity? I don't... I don't think any of these are gonna have pressure sensitivity. But this seems a lot better. A lot better. Yeah. So much better. Oh. Do a new a new canvas, which I don't know where it is. This one. Oh no! Delete. Delete. Is there a fill? Is there? A There's no fill option. I... Okay, I'm just gonna restart it and reload. Okay. Well, it has no fill option, so if you want to start like a new thingy, you have to just reload it. I'm going to draw something that I drew already in Photoshop, and I'm gonna use that to compare. Welcome to the time lapse. Originally, I had five browser programs that I was going to try. And I did try them. They were very similar to the first one, but a lot worse. So I decided to not put them in the video because that would make the video like 30 minutes long. Um, three of them didn't support pen tablets and they lagged so much that I couldn't even draw with a mouse. So it was unusable. So I did include those. So in the video, I only tried three of them. One of them being the first one, which uh, didn't support tablet but it was a little bit usable with a mouse but you know it was it was still bad so right now you can see me uh, struggling to do the sketch for the, the drawing um, it was very hard because there's no pressure sensitivity and I am used to it so it made things a lot harder like very fine lines um, it was kind of weird because I had to push down a lot to even get something out even though there's no sense like pressure it was really hard to like get a nice line out um i retried with like a photoshop brush and it was like it the moment you drew it was smooth on but then when i tried here it was very very hard to get any like ink out moving on to the actual coloring part um it was it wasn't that bad at the start it started getting really hard when i started to blend stuff because even though there is a blend um, brush it made it very hard um, it's like a photoshop blend but make it like 10 times harder to blend with because it just pushed the colors around it didn't really smooth things out it just pushed the colors around um, and if you're like selecting like you have to select the bottom color if you select the top color the, a darker color to blend with it uh, just is a regular brush then it doesn't really work that well and uh, I ended up having to blur the skin actually because it wasn't as smooth as I want so uh, I uh, would add color a little bit color and then I would go and blur the whole layer so that's how you see me get like a kind of like a, a smoother blush at this point I was getting a bit nauseous of doing this so I was trying to finish as fast as I can um, you can see me struggling so much to plan everything out. 
Uh, in Photoshop, I like to use overlays and multiply layers, and this program was just the basics. Not even the basics, uh, but it did its job to an extent. It was really hard to add soft colors because everything had a hard edge on it. For the hair, I used the square brush they had because it was very similar to the Photoshop brush I used for hair. When I say similar, I mean not very close, but it was closer than the brown brush. Overall, it was a better experience than I thought. The drawing came out decent for what it is. I could have spent a lot more time drawing it to make it more polished, but that would be torture. Uh, comparing to Photoshop, this browser app has a lot to work on, but it's, it's doable. It's better than the other ones that I tried. Do you make good art with it? Yes, but it's gonna take you 10 times longer than it would actually take uh, if you use just, uh, you know, just any program that's not browser-based. Even the free ones, uh, I think, would be a lot better than using this. But if you really want to try this uh, drawing program, the link is in the description. Right now, I am just finishing off the drawing. Um, just adding final touches and things that would make it look a little bit better than it actually is. I didn't even finish uh, her, her like chest part because I, again, I felt a little nauseous doing this. For some reason, I do not know why. Maybe it was lagging and I did not like that. But I just outlined the eyes in a darker color the, around the face just to make it more defined. Looking back, I could have added a little bit more color in the lips, but I just wanted it to be done. That's it for today. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing and leaving a like. 